Good morning. <clears throat> so, today's episode is Why Me? I've been told uh, by a few people I've run into, well, actually more than a few, I probably have the best attitude about uh, the stroke that I had. Um, yeah, I do. Some people said it's rather morbid that I'm happy to be alive. Uh, exactly how is it morbid to be happy to be alive? I look at it this way. You can either accept the fact that you've had a stroke, crawl into your morning clothes, get back into bed and hide from the world, or you can embrace it. I choose to embrace. Uh, the fact that I'm happy about being alive, I'm not going to apologize for if you get a bit uncomfortable to the fact that I'm happy to be alive, well, maybe you're not a happy human. In fact, I'm going to argue you might actually be a horrible human, that someone's happy to be alive causes you discomfort. Um, do I joke about the fact I had a stroke? Oh, totally. Um, is it my ultimate get-out-of-jail-free card? Possibly. Why did that happen? I had a stroke. Um, does some of the... The levity hide a bit of abject terror. Yeah, it, it can from time to time. But ultimately, why me? Why you? Why does anyone have a stroke? Well, it's not a time for finger pointing. You know, did I eat fairly healthily? Yeah. Did I smoke? Yeah, I, from time to time I would. Um, have I smoked for a fair amount of my time in my life? Yes, I grew up in tobacco country in southwestern Ontario. Even the dogs smoked. Um... Occasionally, there were coons as well. Uh, cats were too cool for smoking. They did other things. So, yeah. Um, did I maybe indulge in one too many Big Macs or Whoppers? Yeah, occasionally I would. But not that I'm, you know, suffering from a condition known as Bojangaloma. You know, I'm not some fat body whose BMI is pushing, you know, 38 or higher. Um, so, yeah, I had some risk factors. But ultimately, now is not the time to point fingers at, oh, you should have done that, and you could have done that, and if this would have happened, that would, no, you had a stroke. It, there's, at that point, <clears throat> the onus is upon the individual that had the stroke to take control of their life, grab the stroke by the balls, and do something about it. Right? So I <clears throat> now have a large lighter collection. I no longer smoke. Um, it's been, you know, two weeks since my last cigarette. Why? I'm scared to death. Um, am I eating more, uh, greens and vegetables? Oh, completely. Um, why? Well, I've got some time off work before I'm allowed to go back, and I want to embrace and create new behavior so that this has some longevity. Um, there are going to be people that are going to like, oh, you're too young. You're being, you know, 2018, 2019, three quarters of a million people will have a stroke in Canada. <clears throat> Out of the people that are male and in my age range, about 12,000 of those will be part of that larger number. So I'm one of a club of about 12,000. So apparently I'm not too young to have a stroke. Um, in fact, you can legitimately have a stroke at any age. 19, 20, 27, 74. Um, do I look or present like the typical person after having a stroke? No, I, I'm not drooling on myself. I don't have a very pronounced facial droop. Yes, I stutter occasionally. My balance is still a bit of an issue. Um, why am I just going to curl myself away and, and pretend not to be scared about the world and not do anything ever again? So if you have recently had a stroke, regardless of where you are right now, just on the ICU unit, you're on the cardiac unit for heart monitoring, you're on the stroke unit, uh, you're in a rehab facility, uh, you've just come home, or you've been home for a while. Don't be scared. 
asking why me, why did this happen, you're not going to accomplish anything but spin your head around. And the last thing you need right now is your head to get more spun because your brain tried to kill you, right? Life is confusing enough as it is. Uh, right now, one of my biggest detriments is buttons. Can't do them. I don't have the dexterity in, in my hand to, to do buttons. Uh, so right now it's t-shirts. Um, that's why you see me in a lot of t-shirts. Actually, you, I think you've only seen me in t-shirts. So why me? Who cares? It happened. Suck it up and deal with it. Though that's really your only option. Because the other option is, is be an ostrich. Put your head in the ground, ignore what happened, and just roll the dice. You know? So, is that a gamble you're willing to take? No. Now is the time to take inventory. Now is the time to take stock of what you can do to make every other day that you've been granted better. And that's what I'm choosing to do. That being said, if you know of anyone around you, <clears throat> if you've seen yourself or that person that you legitimately can't stand breathing appears to be going through what looks like a stroke, that being stuttering, slurring of speech, inappropriate word usage for context, uh, a facial droop, inability to smile properly, uh, weakness, uh, either in generally or on, on one side, immediately put, place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.